All right, so let's move around the pentatonic positions. We're gonna slide, give you a couple different ideas. Go to point A, point B, maybe back to point A, right? Click the link down below. There's a free ebook. I know it goes over some scales and some chords and stuff like that. It'll totally be useful in lessons like this. Check it out, it's a little free trial. You know, it's awesome. So anyways, what we're gonna do is just try to shift positions, right? Try to break out of just staying in one box and kind of move around the fretboard, maybe start low, end up high, and then back down. So let's zoom in for a closer look. All right, so let's do some sliding or at least moving around from position to position. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in first position. And I'm just gonna move up the notes in the pentatonic scale, or the minor scale actually too. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bend the G string a whole step, and then we're gonna grab the B string a whole step down from that. So we got. And I'm just gonna slide into position three. So we got. That's also. Right, I hit the wrong note, but this note actually sounds really good. You can come in on the major sounding. Or. Right, you can do that sort of thing. Or come in on the minor note. So we got. So I'm going. So we're going 13, B, E12, and then we're going down to E10, B10, and then bending up 13. And then I'm just gonna go 10 and then bend up G. And then the last one hit them together. So we got. Right, that's one way to do it. Now you can go a multiple position riff, let's say from five to one to two, to three, and end up in four. So let's look at something like that. All right, so that's just one example, right? Chaining all the scales together. We're gonna do a pattern to start it all off. So I'm gonna go three, Five, three, five, so it's E and A. And then I'm gonna go back to five on the E. And then I'm gonna go three and five on the A and then slide up to the next position. So we got. Now you can hammer on. I'm just gonna climb up. And then this is where I'm gonna slide up to the next position. So we got. on the B string, 10 to 13, right? And then I'm gonna do one of those climbs we did in the last lesson. So I'm sliding 12 to 14, and then I'm gonna go back to 14. 13, 15, 12, 15, 
15. Back to 12 on the E. So we got. Right, we just went backwards. And we did that riff last time in the last lesson. And then I'm going to go, this is fourth position. Chromatically walk into third position. Still in third position, second position, first position. Right, so we go. And you're back where you started from. Right? Or you can do something as simple as just taking the D and the G string and walking up from one position to another. So I went five to seven slide on the D, grab the G, and I'm gonna slide seven to 10 on the D, grab seven on the G, slide 10 to 12 on the D, nine, go up the same way we did in the last one. Right, or we can do. One more riff, so we got a bend in the third position. Step and a half. Down to the second position, so we're going 12, 11, 10, eight. So we're gonna go 10, 11, 10, down to 8. Right, one more time. five to six and then grab so that's just ways to get in and out of the different positions and have some fun with that give it a shot